Welcome back everyone to another Fill the Gap video. If you want to progress from 3.0 or 3.5, developing a slice serve becomes very, very important. It allows you to have variety in your serves, uh, apart from your flat serve or a kick serve. Also, when you're hitting a slice serve, it gives you the ability to spin the serve outside of the hitting zone of uh, your returner. So you can get them stretched out wide on the due side, even on the ad side, especially on the due side, when you stretch them out wide, it opens up the court for your next shot, so it gives you more chances to win the point as well. So it becomes very important to develop a slice serve. Today we'll be discussing very simple progressions uh, that will get you hitting a slice serve in no time. So let's get started and let's dive in. All right, so the very first thing we need is the right grip, and that's going to be the continental grip for our slice serves. If you are someone who's using your flat grip or the forehand grip, it's very hard for me to slice the ball with that grip. So we do need a continental grip to hit the slice and we'll discuss that in the next few minutes anyways, of how we're gonna hit it. So the second thing will be having the right visual of what we are trying to do with our serve. If you look at the ball here and if I, my racket, imagine is a knife and I want to cut this ball in half. The edge of my knife is going to go towards the middle of the ball to cut it in half. But when I'm doing a slice serve, instead of cutting the ball in half, I'm just going to take a slice sliver at the end of the ball. And that's the visual I have when I'm slicing the ball is with my knife taking a sliver off the ball. And lastly, just to know where the ball toss should be for the slice serve as well. Imagining this is the uh, baseline and I'm tossing the ball. I don't want the ball toss to be behind me. I don't want the ball toss to be too far to the right. And I don't want the ball toss to be towards the left. It's going to be towards the right of me and inside the uh, baseline. So this way I can get my racket to travel forward towards my target as well and my body weight goes forward as well. My racket is gonna be traveling in this direction. Because my strings are pointing towards the service box, the ball will go in that direction, even though my racket is traveling this way. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you one. We're gonna start off with an abbreviated motion, so my racket is already up. I'm at the service line to start, and I'm just gonna do a short motion just to feel what a slice looks like and then what it feels like when it hits the strings. Maraki goes that way and ball will go this way. Once you get used to that, just try a little bit more motion and then follow through. And the next progression will be to now have a little bit of forward momentum into my serve as well. So instead of going straight across, I'm gonna be going, turning with it. And so my racket will be traveling a little bit more forward. So it looks something like this. And then the ball start to curl more towards the left of me, like that. Very important to start doing that in a slow, controlled manner because we really need to develop the muscle memory of what the uh, arm is doing and what the racket is, how the racket is moving in space. We try from the baseline right off the bat and then we try to do a full serve motion. We don't really develop a good muscle memory on how uh, our slice serve actually works. So once you do that a few times, just going forward and turning, and rotating through the shot, Racket going a bit more forward, then come back to like three quarter court, and then increase your swing speed a little bit more now because we have a bit more distance. So I'm gonna start at three quarter court, still my racket is uh, starting in this position, toss the ball, slice, going towards the target, So once you've done it from the service line, three quarter cord, now we're gonna be back at the baseline. And again, starting with an abbreviated motion, toss the ball up, racket going forward, 
and traveling in this direction, taking a sliver off the ball every single time. As my racket is traveling towards the ball, if I pronate my forearm, you can see how the strings start to face forward, and that will be my flat serve, so I don't want to prone it as I'm about to hit the ball. So very important to keep that angle of attack the same way as I'm hitting the ball to keep getting the slice. Once you get used to that, then you can try a full serve motion. All right, so I would encourage you to do these progressions pretty much every single time you are practicing your slice serve. So in the beginning, especially when you're learning the motion, learning the swing path, it's very important to start slow and controlled and then just keeping a nice, relaxed and efficient swing as opposed to something that is forced and tight. So when we start, closer to the uh, service line and then slowly way, make our way back. We're able to slowly increase our swing speed while keeping the same swing path and body rotation and all the other fundamentals that we talked about. So it will take some time, but if you keep uh, working on it and doing these repetitions, I promise you, you will have a killer slice serve. If you like to learn about how you can develop a smoother arm motion, and also how to properly use your legs uh, in the serve, then watch this video next, and I'll see you in that one. Thank you, bye.